Dolphins try to snap spoiling losing streaks. Miami, app, with the losses mounting, Denver Broncos coach Vance Joseph draws on what he learned last year from Adam Gaze, hoping to beat him. The close friends and former colleagues will be reunited Sunday when the bedraggled Broncos play Gaze's downtrodden Dolphins. The coaching matchup might be the most compelling aspect of an otherwise unsightly game between teams trying to end season spoiling slumps. The Broncos, 3 8, have lost seven in a row, their longest skid in 50 years. The Dolphins, 4 7, have lost five straight, their worst stretch since 2011. But Joseph remembers an improbable turnaround by Miami last year when he was defensive coordinator under first-year head coach Gaze. And Joseph anticipates Gaze's best shot. Both teams are going through some struggles right now, Joseph said. But I know him. He's tough, he's smart and he'll figure it out, hopefully not Sunday. Here are things to know about the two coaches and their last-place teams. Reunion, Joseph said he and Gaze talk by phone a couple of times a week. They've known each other since 2008, when both were assistants with the San Francisco 49ers, and they've endured lots of losing before. That includes in 2016, when Miami started 1-4 before rebounding to win 10 games. Being with Adam last year was awesome, Joseph said. We had adversity and no one blinked. He kept pushing, the team kept pushing, and we made it out of it. When you go through those things with a person, it makes you close, because it was hard. The overachieving Dolphins reached the playoffs for the first time in eight years despite losing quarterback Ryan Tannehill to a season-ending injury. They won a succession of close games even though Joseph's defense set a franchise record for most yards allowed. Our guys loved him, and he held those guys accountable, Gaze said. Things didn't always go perfect for us, but he was such a grinder and battler. He kept those guys in the right frame of mind to help us push through. There are other ties between the two sidelines. Gaze was an assistant for the Broncos in 2009-14 and stays in touch with some of their players, who are well aware of the Dolphins' tribulations this year. Goose, that's my dude, Denver running back CJ Anderson said. We text a little bit throughout the season. He's highly upset with some things. QB Carousel both teams have had trouble scoring, in part because of quarterback issues. Jay Cutler, who has pitched only two complete games in the past six weeks because of injuries, will be back in the lineup for Miami. Trevor Simeon will be the third different quarterback to start for Denver in as many games. We just want to win, Simeon said. We're starving for a win. We all have something to prove. Giveaway. Another problem plaguing both teams is turnovers. Denver ranks next to last in the NFL in turnover differential at minus 16. Miami is third worst at minus 10. Each team has thrown 15 interceptions, which is tied for the league's second highest total. And both teams rank among the worst in takeaways. Seeking a breakthrough, Dolphin center Mike Pouncey called last week's game at New England a must-win situation. Miami lost 35-17, so what does that make Sunday? This is another must-win, Pouncey said. We need start with one win, just get one, and then we will have a tendency to win a couple after that. Play team football and get back on track. Joseph agreed about the need to find something positive to build on. You're hoping to get one game that turns it, he said. It's a physical game, but it's also a mental game. We haven't won in a while, so when adversity strikes on game day, we have to figure out a way to overcome it mentally. Shorthanded, Denver four-time Pro Bowl cornerback Akib Talib will sit out to serve a one-game suspension for fighting last week with Oakland receiver Michael Crabtree. Broncos nose tackle Demita Pico, slowed by a sprained left MCL, might miss a game for the first time since 2009. Underscore for more NFL coverage http colon slash slash pro 32 dot app dot org and https colon slash slash twitter dot com slash app underscore nfl underscore follow steven wine on twitter http colon slash slash twitter dot com slash steve underscore wine